Hello, in the second video about Taylor series, we're going to look at how gradients are found numerically. So it's numerical differentiation and how this is done, this can be done using Taylor series and how Taylor series can be used to find the order of accuracy of a numerical gradient. So we assume that we have a set of points, x0, x1 and so on, um, and we have a function f that is represented on these points. So at position xj, f takes, a, takes the value fj. At position xj minus 1, f takes the value fj minus 1. And these delta x's are a distance delta x apart. We want to find the gradient f dashed at position xj. So there are three obvious ways we can do it. We can use a forward difference, a backward difference, and a centered difference. So for a forward difference, we look at this point and we look forward. So we get f dashed of j, the gradient here, is equal to that value minus that value divided by the distance between them. Um, before I reveal the formulae for the backward difference and the centered difference, uh, pause the video and try writing them in before I do. Uh, pause now. OK, so the backward difference, as you'd imagine, is this value minus that value divided by the distance between them. And the centred difference is that value minus that value divided by twice the distance between them. We could have found these approximations rather than by eye. We could have found them using a Taylor series. And this would also tell you how accurate they are, which will tell you if I, any of these would be more accurate or less accurate than any others. So Taylor series to find finite difference gradients. We're going to find an approximation for f dashed at x. So to use a Taylor series to find a finite difference gradient, first of all we write down the things that we know. We consider where we want to find f dashed. Consider what order accuracy we want. Um, and then we write down a Taylor series for some of the knowns centred about another of the knowns. Um, and we, then we try to eliminate the unknowns to find the thing we want. So for as an example, we can assume with, that we know function f at position xj, xj minus 1 and xj plus 1. And we want to find the gradient at fj. So we're going to write down some Taylor series to do this. We've got three knowns, fj, fj minus 1, and fj plus 1. We we're hoping that we might be able to get second order accuracy with this. Um, we don't want to generate too many unknowns, so we want all the Taylor series to be centred around the same point. Uh, we've got two, two of our uh, one known and one, and the thing we want to find out are both at the same point. So let's find Taylor series for fj minus 1 and fj plus 1, both centred around fj. Uh, so the Taylor series for fj plus 1, centred around fj, is, is this. So we've got fj, fj dashed, fj double dashed. And the Taylor series for fj minus 1 is similar, but instead of plus delta x here, we've got minus delta x. And then the minus delta x squared just goes to delta x squared, minus delta x cubed term. So now we haven't... We haven't introduced too many unknowns because these ones are the same. So this is this is unknown. This is the largest unknown, and um, it's also the biggest unknown. So this is the thing that we want to eliminate. We can eliminate that by subtracting one equation from the other. Uh, so to subtracting one equation from the other, I uh, try to stay stay a step ahead. So you can pause the video and do that equation minus that equation to fill in this line and uh, resume the video when you've written something down. This is what you should have. fj plus 1 minus fj minus 1 is equal to 2 delta x fj dash plus delta x cubed over 3 times fj triple dashed. And at the mo with, with this, the unknown is proportional to delta x to 4. Now you want to rearrange this to find fj dash Pause again, try and write it down yourself before I go on. So rearranging this, 
gives, gives this equation here. This is still unknown. We can't eliminate this. So this is part of the error. We can see that the error is now proportional to delta x squared. Uh, so writing that as order delta x squared. Um, so this is a second order accurate approximation. Um, there's a, a YouTube video uh, showing you how to find this approximation, a worked example, which you can look at if that didn't make enough sense. So some exercises, find some Taylor series to find some gradients, and the answers are at the end of this worksheet.